Thank you, Ron, for giving this book uh, for me for free. And he shipped it. Thank you so much for that. Thank you, my friend. And he reads, Johnny, enjoy the journey. Keep up the higher vibration. Moving up. Your friend, Ron Ray uh, Colombo. Check uh, the interview out. If you have not checked it out, I highly recommend it. Because we'll be talking about Buddha somewhat. Anyway, um, he I read in his book, couple. it's about rewriting your program. And I have this book out called Talents Overrated. I believe that this is one of the best book, if not, for uh, believing people who have been doing amazing things, which that's why I do what I do. I bring <clears throat> amazing guests on this YouTube channel because so I can um, break the change which holds you in your head and your belief system. Based upon what you think you saw about yourself. It's all about seeing yourself. Nobody ever tell you that uh, that you're smart enough, that you're good enough. You know, I often always say that I thought I was stupid. But there's a reason why I do what I say what I do. I don't believe that, but I just say it. There's a reason for it. And I'll tell you why. Um, this uh, woke me up, right? So, he's, it's about chapter reprogramming your, uh, rewrite, rewrite your program. From the womb to the grave, someone is always trying to program you to that their story should be your truth. Most of the fight with voice in our head that you know that voice, that creepy little voice in our head say, we're not wealthy enough, we're not uh, worthy, we're not attractive, we're not smart enough. The voice that is two first things and foremost is the program that has been in our space since we were a child and continue because we look for things that validate program the second thing is our ego our ego is that creepy crappy uh, little voice in our heads so strong that it take over and give you a false reality based upon programming and learned behavior what you think about everything you think is your perception if you think everyone is out to get you you're right because of your perception is reality if you think you're poor or ugly your ego still uh, do everything in its power to make your reality even if it's not true I knew a man whose net worth was over $10 million, but believed he was poor and lived a lack of life, a lack, uh, a life of lack. I knew a woman who was super model, absolutely beautiful, but believed she was ugly. How can this be? I'm sure you know someone in your life that you can relate to those examples. What you tell yourself, what you believe, what you vibrate is all created reality. This is your perception of who you are. Now, there's a different story why I say that I am stupid. Well, no, my bad. Uh, I often say I thought I was stupid. <laughs> because if I don't say it, I cannot reach those who believe that they're stupid. I'm telling you. Um, see, that's why most people don't believe in books, right? Because they don't believe in the potential. If you read books, that means you believe in you. If you learn something valuable, you believe in you. If you learn something amazing, amazing education, you believe in you. You invest in you. Most people don't invest in programs or other things because they don't believe in them. But since you're investing time watching my video, that means you believe in uh, what I'm saying. Now, this book is amazing. I'll probably do a book on it, but... As so happened, the reason why I often say that I thought I was stupid, because if I start off, if that's one of my missions to impact the education or the sp uh, special education, because I was placed in it, and, you know, it, w it would do nobody good if I don't say that I thought I was stupid. Because if I'm going to impact the world or something, I have to be relatable to people. I'm not... I already know that I'm a genius by heart. Where did it, where did the, my, why I say I'm a genius or Tensai, often in the anime, um, the main characters say uh, Tensai, Tensai means genius in Japanese. The reason why I believe that I'm a genius because I have read books that be able to destroy, to rewrite my program that was, um, Program me a program in me when I was a kid like this book This book helped a lot with understanding the people who you think so-called celebrities or gods Most people think celebrities are God, but I keep bringing them in Why so I can destroy your belief system about you now most people who you know There are people who believe that they're not smart 
I'm telling you. I remember. I think that to this day, there's this girl. I remember. She used to like me, but she don't say it. And you know, back it was back in boarding school. And she kept telling herself that she's not smart, right? Like my, she said, you know, uh, like my ex. My ex is smart, but everyone, so is everyone else is smart. It's just that they operate at a level different from everybody else, right? You probably have a certain, um, um, what was it, intelligence that nobody has, and that makes it uniquely yours, right? Mine is to be able to see patterns, right? I get to see patterns. Now, this book can overwrite your program what you believe about how smart you are, how intelligent you are. You know, I often hear people would say they're not smart enough. That's the reason why I do what I do. So I can take that belief system and throw uh, uh, other people belief system and throw it out the window, right? And burn them. Yeah, okay, now nah, I keep thinking about the story. Anyway, um, this book talks about IQs. I believe IQ is crap. Most people be still believe in IQ because it's mainstream. It's to the masses. Um, you know, an idea is which catch on to the masses. Now, I don't often do, you know, what the masses does because I don't believe in what the masses do. But, you know, if I'm trying to get a message across, then, of course, I have to relate to the people. Otherwise, people don't, if I say, um, if I don't say I have failures or something, people don't, you know, people, um, I have to hit a certain point of, a sub, their subconscious mind because their subconscious mind is the most if you want to influence someone you have to influence their subconscious mind their voice what's inside their head what they're saying otherwise I can't reach them if I just say oh I'm smart and, and if I say that I'm a genius I cannot get them that's like hitting their neocortex but they're not hitting to their subconscious mind now, if I do understand the subconscious mind, that is a very powerful if I can hit the emotional spot, the that little bit between the people. That's why I often do to that's why I become oftentimes good at interviewing because if I can get the celebrity to tell that they have hard time or they didn't grow up really um, you know, that mean that somewhere out there that's someone, you know, I interview amazing, uh, uh, what's his name? Oh, yeah. Jason David Frank. If you don't know who that is, that's Tommy Oliver from Power Ranger. He was uh, the Mighty Morphin Power Ranger from when it was Green Ranger, White Ranger. And if you have not followed up, all the uh, Ranger that he has been, Turbo, Zeo, all that. Yeah, I have watched all of them. I mean, seriously, like, I have watched up till when he was in, in Dino Thunder when he was the Black, you know. I'm really a hardcore friend of a Power Ranger, even though, and and I brought him on because I believe that anyone who believe that celebrities are good at what they do, or people believe that celebrity don't have hard time, they do. They're just like you. That's why I bring them on. Otherwise, people wouldn't believe it. But hey, you know. But that's you know. I was thinking like, wow, good thing I educate myself with books. Because if I didn't educate myself, I'm not who I am today without books. That's why I keep uh, saying about books because most people don't believe in books. Even if, even if they're entrepreneur too. Because they hate it. They, they don't want to read it. Because they say, oh, who cares about books? But I do. Because books allow me to get to celebrities. Like, if you just invest. That's why I'm glad that I didn't listen to people say, oh, don't waste money on books. But I, you know, I'd rather waste on money, on books, than on stupid things. Anyway, this book is amazing. Have you ever noticed how people get good? Or is it that they have more talent than you? Or how did they do it? I believe that most people who are incredible at what they do, they practice. But not, not only that, they practice what they don't know too, I think. And in this book, it talks about deliberate practice and how that is basically debunking how you think that ta people who have talent or who doesn't have talent that's why I often bring um, different experts on here not just the law of attraction or um, because if I'm going to be an interviewer 
like people like do journalists then I gotta bring all facets of life like I'm, I gotta you know most people if you wanna like I gotta I gotta be curious about a lot of things so like in order to become open minded or to be able to break the paradigm or to you know break the belief system is questioning is it true like does like for example if that person is good what make him good or her is it true that if I can't do that, can I become better? Can I, can I improve? Can I improve my thinking? Can I improve my brain cells? Can I improve? If we have the ability like to generate brain cells, to be able to like to be able to have the capacity just to learn any skill set, what would it be? Where would the skill set take me? Where can I um, develop this, right? That's the question that we have to ask. I always read books on how can I uh, develop that skill set. It's not always easy because I make mistakes. But it helped me to be able to get authors and celebrities. Without those, then it wouldn't be. I wouldn't live in my dream. Like, that would be impossible. Now, most people say that why are you... Like people, people always bash on books because they say, "Oh, the author is making money." But if you knew how valuable books are, then you wouldn't be able to say that. Like that's why I back up. Most often, time people think that I'm always angry or not. It's just that you know that's why I love Evan Carmichael because he has just pain or you know why people do what they do. You know, I often watch his video, and you know. He, he, he told me this. I made an impact on his life because uh, I, I did something different, like the Power Ranger, like with the Morpher. And he was like, I've never been morphed on an interview before. I believe that, I don't know if uh, Jason David Frank expect that I would ask um, a question that related to you or related to people in general. Because if I talk about Power Ranger, people wouldn't care. I mean, people would care if they're into Power Rangers. That's the difference. Uh, but also, the reason why is because um, Jason could be someone a hero. Because he's right. Kids are our teachers. Uh, what he said is true. And, you know, he didn't come. He was bullied. And he had, what, uh, HDD or ADHD or something. And, and I was like, hmm, that's relatable. And so now... You you open the door and you see that celebrities have hard time too, just like everyone else. But he said, "What you can do, what, uh, what not what you can't." And I like that. That's powerful. Anybody who are into Power Ranger or, or well, I am into Power Ranger, so that's powerful to me. It hit home more, right? Because the whole reality is the reason why I do an uh, interview uh, um, martial artists kung, kung fu because I want to know. What make them do what they do, right? Uh, you know, I never had that. I never had that. Um, what was it? I never had that where people say I was good. People always look down on me because I was in special education. Because people, you know, and I felt that. I I, I felt like people. Um, maybe that's why I wanted the attention. Maybe I wanted to be different so I don't have to be looked down like that. You know, it's a, a very ugly feeling when a kid look at you funny, and say, and, you know, people. Um, you know, people think that, you know, they look at you funny when, you know, in high school, I, I try to be like crazy and yell in the hallway and because maybe I didn't like the feeling of that word, uh, special education. People would look you funny. Um, I remember there was a kid in college and, and, you know, the, 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 there was a student and she was different from all the rest. You know, and he was making fun of her, and I got, I got pissed because I was like, "Why would you make fun of her, man? Like she had a disability. Respect that, man. Like you, you, you're a cruel man. Respect that." And that's why I, I, I have empathy for people who are in special education or who had a hard time growing up because I had a hard time growing up. But of course, that's not my story. It's just that I want to hit home that. Those who don't believe that they're smart, they are smart enough. It's just that most people don't believe that they're smart enough. Okay? So you have to reprogram your mind to believe that you're smart enough. 
that you can do what you want to do, not what you can't. Of course, um, that's why I, you know, whether people believe, you know, people always question why I have set so high goals is because I believe in me. I believe in the power of the universe. I believe that if we can, if all the books that I have read about potentials and law of attraction, thinking we're rich and stuff like that, then why can't I do that? Like, even if I had a hard time and even if I question the stuff that I do, you know, I do appreciate everybody support, you know. But if I didn't do it, then who will? Who will have my dream? Who will have the dream that I dream of myself? If I let someone talk out of my dream, like interviewing celebrities, no one's going to do it. Because, see, there's a certain thing about it. Celebrities, people think that it's untouchable. People will laugh and make jokes. But are they really that untouchable? I mean, we have the social media now these days. We have Twitter Instagram, we have emails, for God's sake, we got fo like, we have phones, we have things that connect, it. we're so close to each other, and yet we so far, and yet people, I, I feel like that's why I do what I do, anyway, thank you so much for, oh, and let me see if I can read this, da -da 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 -da. Tests of, uh, tests of IQ, as they've been developed over the past century, actually consist of test subjects that try to capture various aspects of intelligence. The subtotic focal information, um, uh, aromatic vocabulary, comprehension, picture completion, blocks, design, ob objects. Um, if you're not good at this, don't worry. These is, like, for those who are not good at, okay, so there are students, there are people, who love school and who excel at school. I, for one, didn't excel at school. Maybe in boarding school, maybe. But I, I did excel in boarding school because I had to, not because that's the difference. I had to so I can go home. That's the thing. But people, there are people who are good at what they do, who are good at school. And, but, but that's the thing. If life is about continuous education and improvement there's a line there's a it's funny when you're when you're younger you're you get pushed into the world and the school and say that's the way to succeed there's many paths of success there's many pathways where you can go now as we grow up there's a hill and that hill will diminish and what's that that is the education that you have or have stopped learning. And then congratulate yourself for going this far um, on educating yourself because we live in a world where soon, uh, I keep seeing Vision tweeting about AIs and robots and stuff. People, people believe, you know, um, I just watch. Uh, Patrick Big David, I'm a big core of Patrick Big David. Uh, he's an uh, entrepreneur, and you know he's always um, talking about education. You know, and then I saw uh, uh, Prince uh, EA. Um, he talked about education too. How come that the educational system is not growing the way that technology is growing? I know that people don't. You know, it's if 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 school made like a personal development choice, that'd be better. I don't know about now, but still, I mean, I hear it, but you know, I that's why if you read books like these, like it will open your mind, like understanding was all these people who are good at music or violin or art did they suddenly become a genius or a tensai because of it it's it's developed like they st it's like if you get a kid doing stuff over and over for a long period of time for hours and decades um, they call it the 10 hour rule right but it's not just the 10 hour rules i mean 10 not 10 hours 10,000 hours rule it's deliberate practice they practice but it's not just repetition it's deep um, 
repetition that goes deep in your subconscious mind. Right? That's the deep practice that they have. That's what they are so good at what they do. I mean, m most people will say I'm not good enough. What they're saying is that either they're afraid to develop it or they have a fixed mindset that it can't, like, that's, they were born with that certain type of ability and they can't develop any other skills. Like, skill set are learned. What you learn in school or home, that is learned. Program. It's a program. It's written in you. Now you have to uh, uh, somehow smash it into pieces and write another program. Right? So this book is amazing. Talent is... Um, let me read you a couple where I love it so much. All right. Look at your friends, your relative, your coworker, the people you meet when you shop or go to party. How do they spend their time? Most of them work. They, they all do many other things while playing sports, performing music, pursuing ho hobbies, doing public service. Now ask yourself honestly, how well do they do what they do? Um, I remember uh, Bob Proctor always say, um, uh, you, okay, how, how can I become good at what they, uh, I do? Or he always say, how can you make it better? How can you get good at what he, um, you do? He always say that. And in every uh, video that I watch of uh, Bob Proctor, he always say that. Um, how can you get good at what you do? How can you break the mental barrier that you have inside your mind to break the belief system that you can't, but you can? It's like when I read books of brains or psychology or something, it made me believe in me. It made me believe in the potential of a human being, what they can or cannot do, how they can develop their skills. It's the mental uh, structure that you see. You build, most people build a mental structure that are really um, uh, very horrible, I believe. It's a mental structure of limitation. People already set that now. To this day, people will set it. And because all the accumulation of the limitation that people have set on you and yourself. So it is a prison of your mind. So if you can break that prison, if you can break that limitation of your mind, what can you learn? What can you think? Or like you should try that. Like something new that you haven't done. Maybe it's scary, right? And then you open up. You know, that's why I ask people about fear especially celebrities because you know that's why I agree if you you know that's why most people always probably people are gonna ask me why I keep saying the same question over and over because if I don't who will who will care enough about people saying uh, because there are people out there I think in every interview in every book reviews I think about people fears People, I mean, not people fears. People, what they think about themselves and how they don't believe it. So if I'm going to be a person who push the belief system, then I got to be the one who asks the toughest question for celebrities or authors or anyone. Because I got to use that as saying, how can people become better? Anyway, subscribe to my channel, like my video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.